Hey guys, and welcome to another Your Tech Report video. Today, we're gonna unbox and go hands-on with a very cool product from LaCie called the DJI Copilot Boss Series. Welcome back, guys, and before we dive into this review, let's, uh, of course, remind you to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And at the end of this video, if you do like it, give us a thumbs up, hit that thumbs up button, and you'll get notified anytime we've got a brand new video to share with you. So, we're big fans of LaCie. We've always been fans of LaCie. If you go back to some of our rugged hard drives, we had the original rugged hard drive, which had the Firewire input. Then LaCie came out with an, another rugged hard drive with that typical orange kind of banner around it. Uh, this was uh, another LaCie rugged hard drive. This was the Thunderbolt series. If you take a look over here, Thunderbolt here, plus USB type C on that one. I think that's about four terabytes. But then they came out with the DJI Copilot. So, why DJI? Lots of information to give to you here, and we'll do that while we actually unbox this here. So let's take a look at the packaging for a second. Let's see, DJI Copilot, you see a picture of the drone up there. We're gonna pop open the box over here, and we're going to let it all out, as they say. So inside the box itself, we've got the actual hard drive itself. We've lost the orange color on this one. There's still rugged series with the orange color, don't worry. We've got a bunch of different plug types and connectors. Uh, we've got a USB-C to, U to mini micro USB. We've got a black USB-C to U type A. Different types of adapters for European plugs. We've got a micro SD adapter, which is cool. So that's a micro SD adapter to SD card slot. And I'll explain that in a second. And then we've got the drive itself. So the drive itself looks very similar to the other rugged LaCie drives, except you've got a gray ruggedized out exterior shell. It's designed by Neil Poulton, as you can see right there on the actual drive itself, designed by Neil Poulton. This looks really different off the bat because you've got a whole slew of, of ports and connectors over here. So let's talk about these ports and let's talk about what makes this drive different than anything else. So let's say you're out and about, you're a photographer, you're shooting drone photography, for example. You've got, let's say, a 32 gig micro SD card in your drone, or you've got a 16 gig card in your drone. Well, you wanna offload that footage somewhere and you don't wanna to have to carry a computer with you everywhere you go. Enter the DJI Copilot. This drive is not only a hard drive, but it includes a small processor on board. It includes a SD card slot, a USB type C connector, a full USB type A connector, and it lets you plug in an actual SD card and offload the contents directly to the hard drive without the need for a computer. That is thanks to the onboard battery pack, the onboard processing, and there's even a little screen on the front of this device, which I'll show you over here, that shows you the status of what's going on. On the side of the device, you can see there's an embedded cable here. This is a lightning connector cable, so you can plug this into your phone if you wanna back up your phone's photos to it. This cable actually comes off, so you can, you can pull off the side over here, the square, and over here, here. So on this end, it's really just micro USB, and that kind of wraps around the entire hard drive. This way, if you have a different phone, for example, let's say you're carrying around a Pixel or a Pixel 3, you can swap that cable for the micro USB to micro USB, or the micro USB to USB type C, et cetera, et cetera and you can keep that wrapped around the entire hard drive. So as we said, SD card slot here. So let's show you what happens when we actually pop in an SD card. I've got a, let's see what I've got here. I've got a uh, 64 gig SD card that I've recorded some video to. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna pop it into the actual slot itself. So we're gonna do that with you right there. We pop it in and we're gonna push the button on the side. On the opposite side, there's a button. And it says right there, well, turn that around, it says copy done. So that was from the previous function. So when you press the button over here, it's gonna show you how much is free. So 67% is actually free. We'll get in a bit closer here for you so you can actually see that. So 67% is actually free. Uh, now because there's an SD card slot in there, it asks me if I want a copy. So I'm gonna hit yes. And it's going to actually boot up and you can see that there's actually a, kind of like a status bar that pops up and shows you that it's copying. And when the copying is done, it's gonna say copying done. It's actually fairly quick because it's happening right to the hard drive. And then you could pop out that memory card, you could format it on your camera and you can go back to shooting. Obviously people carry, you know, I have a, a memory card carrier here that I carry lots of SD cards so that I don't have to worry about offloading footage. But now with a sol solution like this, which is two terabytes, this model is two terabytes, it comes in other sizes as well. You can just pop your SD card in here while still flying your drone. Make sure you have a backup copy so that you're always 
ensuring that you have some kind of backup of the contents and the things that you're filming. It's a great device for peace of mind. It's a great device for just regular backup practices. It's a great device if you just want to carry, you know, two SD cards on you. You don't want to have to worry about constantly swapping and carrying a computer with you. You don't have to carry a computer anymore because you can copy it directly to the actual hard drive. So you can see it's still copying over there. It keeps us up to date as to what's going on. It shows us what's going on 68%. It's obviously going to go down and, and you can offload this to your computer using, of course, that USB type C, that USB type A, um, and it even comes with a power supply as well. So you can power it um, and keep it charged. So there's a battery on board this as well. So it doubles as a juice pack as well for your smartphone. All in all, a really great package and a really great device to have in your camera bag and just your gear bag. It's awesome to be able to offload your footage and make sure you, ha you have a backup. This is, the, again, the two terabyte model. It's still copying off the SD card over there. Um, this retails for $349.99. You can get it online, Amazon, B&H. You can go to Lassie's website and uh, and do check it out. Uh, a great device from Lassie and designed by Neil Poulton. So you got that rugged design. It's meant to be used in the outdoors. It's meant to be charged up, thrown in your bag and just offload that footage when you want. So it is the LaCie DJI Copilot, the Boss Series 2 terabyte edition. Uh, do check it out. And of course, if you like this video, do give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. This way you get uh, instantly notified when we've got some great stuff coming up for you. For example, I don't know, holidays, giveaways, stuff like that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.